are beginning to open and separate each and every single vertebrae over the whole of the right hand side of your body. You're beginning to squeeze and activate all the muscles around and near your left kidney. So the muscles are encouraging the kidney to release toxins. Left armpit forward towards me, right armpit. It looks like you're going into a little bit of a back bend for me, Olga, I don't know, but just get your ribs down a little bit. Turn your ribs down, the lower ribs, get them down a little bit, gorgeous. And now begin to come down for the last five seconds for three, come down for two, come down for one, and change, breathe up. Okay, we're going to go for the most delicious back bend. So tighten your butt a lot. Push your hips and your tummy and your thighs forward towards the mirror. Thank you, Olga. Lift your chest up and drop your head back. Let your head go. Let it relax. Now inhale the biggest breath of air. Lift your chest up and begin to take your arms back. That's it, um, Olivia. Keep on lifting your chest up. You've got it. Straighten your knees. You have it, Chuck. Lift your chest up and you float back. And you go back. For you, Whitney, you just keep on lifting the chest so you don't go into your lower back. Lift your chest up. Yes, Jamelia. Go back. Breathe back. One more breath. Inhale, breathing. And come up with a straight spine. Suck in your tummy. Bend your knees. Come down with a straight spine, get your hands on the floor and begin to wiggle your hips from side to side. You're doing your little upside down cha-cha-cha. You're warming up your back a lot. So you bend your knees deeply and get your tummy and your thighs and your chest on the knees. Now reach around, scoop up your heels from behind. Try to step on all of your fingers and your thumb, trying ideally to get the fingers to face the exact same direction as your toes in the front mirror and you breathe. Wrap the elbows around a little bit deeper and you breathe. Get the weight into the toes and you breathe. Lift your hips up into the air and you breathe. Get your forehead to touch the shins one day below the knees and you breathe. Suck in your tummy, inhale breathing and come up with a straight back. Gorgeous, Olga. And let your arms float down, take a breath, let go and breathe. Let go and breathe. Second set. Inhale with energy, your arms above your head. Good to see you, Kim. Good to see you, Eileen. Glue your wrists together, straighten your elbows, straighten your knees. Reach up as high as you possibly can. Touch the ceiling or the sky. And over you go in a perfectly straight line all the way to the right hand side of the room. And you breathe and you go slowly. So I know that you're friends of Kim and Eileen, Chuck, so don't go for broke. Just look how they're doing it. They're not going any deeper on the second set. What I'd like everybody to do is connect with your breath. Connect with the sacred energy coming into your body every time you breathe. And when you connect your breath with the posture, that becomes yoga. Find your sweet spot, the place where you can be forever. And change. Inhale as you come up. Straight elbow, straight knees, tight bum, reach up, touch the ceiling. And over you go, perfectly straight line to the left. The chin is up and your arms are back and you're sucking your tummy. And you tighten your bum a lot and very, very gently invite your right hip a little bit more over your right ankle, but you breathe. This is more about your breath than it is about the depth. Slow down your inhales, slow down your exhales, glue your wrists together, straighten your knees, your tummy's tight, your butt's tight, Find your sweet spot and stay there. Gorgeous Olga, as you breathe, gorgeous Henry, and change. Inhale as you come up, beautiful girls. Suck in your tummy, bend your knees, hips, tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up and just let your head go back. That's it, gorgeous. Lift your chest up again and now would you take your arms back? There you go, Eileen. The arms are working now a lot. Now don't go back anymore with your back, Eileen. Just take your arms back. Just work for your armpits. That's it. Just work for your armpits and you're lifting your back up and your armpit. Yes, and now they're further back by three inches than they used to be, Eileen. Hips, tummy, thighs towards the mirror. Lift your chest up more, Kim. And now take your arms back, Eileen, as you go back and you breathe back more, back, way back, go back. One more breath. Inhale as you come up. Gorgeous girls. Suck in your tummy, bend your knees, come down on the straight back. So when you're new, usually the person that's on the screen is the one that will show you how to do the posture if you're not sure. Wiggle your hips from side to side until your lower spine feels amazing. Loose, comfy, easy and relaxed. Okay, guys, would you bend your knees? Please lay your tummy on your thighs. 
Please lay your chest on the knees. Reach around, scoop up your heels from behind. Please get the weight into the toes. Wrap the elbows, lovely Eileen, behind the calf muscles and begin to pull. Lift your hips up into the air and begin to pull. Relax your neck. Get your forehead on the shins below the knees and begin to pull. Lift your hips up. Pull on the heels with one more breath. Inhale as you come up. Eileen, you're nearly straight leg now. And let your arms float down. And please take a breath and let go of everything, especially you. And you breathe. And you breathe. Okay, look down at your feet, take six and step to the right. Hide your heels behind your toes. You can measure like this, Chuck. Your hands, two fists in between the feet, and that will be the exact measurement for your hips. Inhale your arms up to center. Yes, sir, perfect. Now suck in your tummies, inhale breathing, and please sit down on a chair. Now when you sit down, you try, Olga, this is perfect, darling. As you sit down on a chair, but I want you to tip your fingertips down a little bit so they're just in line with your shoulders. That's it. Find your neck, drop the shoulders away from your ears, reaching your fingertips towards the front or your screen. Stick your bum out behind you, lift your upper body up at the end and change. Fabulous, Olga. Come right upon your toes as high as you possibly can. Straighten out your legs a lot to start with. Now, inhale, breathing. Crack your knees a little bit, but not at the expense of your heels. This posture is working your feet. There are no machines in the gym that work your feet. Lift up your right heel. Yes, Olga, lift up the left heel. This is spectacular, Olga. Kick your heels towards the mirror. Right heel, left heel, both heels, both heels, both heels. Please change. Bring your knees together to touch. Lift your heels a tad. Suck in your tummy and slide down your cool marble wall. Pointing your knees down toward the bottom of the mirror. When you stop, you hover. An inch or two off your heels. Your eyes, they're wide open. The breath is normal. You're squeezing your knees together as hard as you possibly can. Now pull in your tummy muscles. Inhale, breathing. And would you very slowly push the floor away. And feet together. Arms down. Take a breath. Let go and breathe. Good to see you, Wayne. Second set. Look down at your feet. Take a six and step to the right. Hide your heels behind your toes. Please inhale your arms up to center and drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Suck in your tummy, inhale, breathe in and sit down on a chair. Now weighing what is brilliant, your knees are directly on top of your ankles and your hips are in line with your knees. So I would say this posture is textbook perfect. So you can see what he looks like. Chuck, this is a very, very perfect posture. Curl your upper body up, drop the shoulders long away from your ears. Please sit down, one more breath and change. Excellent Wayne, legs were shaking, that means they're getting stronger. Come right upon your toes as hard as you can, fabulous feet. Right upon your toes. In the beginning, Chuck, they don't stay there, but you just work into it. Now inhale, breathing, crack your knees. And what you do, you roll your left heel forward, lift up your right heel forward, big toes into the floor, Wayne, especially the left one. Big toes into the floor, that's it. Right heel towards the mirror, left heel towards the mirror, both heels towards the mirror. Please change. Bring your knees together to touch and lift your heels a tiny little bit. Then suck in your tummy and begin to slide down your cool marble wall, pointing your knees down towards the bottom of the mirror, stopping, hovering, an inch or two off your heels. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. Squeeze your knees, pull your tummy muscles in. Now, if your knees are strong and they're healthy and you know that you can bounce, one, two, three, stop on the up bounce. Yes, when you inhale, breathing, now push the floor away. And feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go, breathe. Let go, breathe. Let go, breathe. Let's do Garuda. Inhale your arms up over your head. Notice which is your right arm, which is your left arm. Swing your right arm underneath your left arm. Please cross your forearms, thumb towards your face and pull your elbows down, sit down deep. Butt out, chest up. Pick up your right leg and would you wrap it and coil it and bend it and squeeze it around the other leg and pull the elbows down. Begin to move your knees towards the right hand side of the room or your space. Bring your left hip forward. Stick your bum out behind you. Lift your upper body up. Drop your left shoulder down, Olga. Drop your left shoulder down if you can. Yes. And change. Okay, my darling, I feel you. Arms over your head. And please swing the left underneath your right. You cross your forearms, thumbs towards your face. Pull your elbows down. You sit down. Your butt is out. Your chest is up. 
pick up your left leg as high as you can. And would you wrap and coil it and bend it and squeeze it around the right one. Now the foot does not have to go all the way around. As long as you're squeezing your thighs, you're getting 100% benefit. If the foot is all the way around, you can move your knees to the left a little bit more, Olga. Bring the right hip forward. Right now, Olga, your left shoulder's down and your left hip's too high. You're way out of balance. So stay long, Olga, stay long. Bring your fingers a little bit more to the middle of your face. Pull the elbows down and change. Arms over your head, stay with Olga and swing the left and right, right underneath your left. I've got to go back to Olga right now, if I can. I'll come back to Senate soon. Pull the elbows down and sit down deep. Butt out, chest up. Now pick up your left leg. Don't go deep, Olga. I don't know what you've been doing, but you've been doing this very, very wrong. So if you've been going to somebody, they're teaching you, they're not correcting you, Olga. It's way out, your body's like, uh, don't go down. Stand up, come up, Olga, a little bit more. And every time I give Olga a correction, I'm giving it to you. But stand up, leave even more, Olga. Don't go, don't sit too low. Don't sit too low. Yeah, now move your knees a little bit right. A little bit right. Yeah, change. That's the posture, darling. Don't go any deeper than that. Arms over your head and swing the left underneath the right. Cross your forearms, thumbs towards your face. Pull your elbows down, sit down deep, butt out, chest up. And pick up your left leg and wrap and coil and bend and squeeze it. That's it. Now, once you get it, Olga, don't sit down, darling. Yeah, that's it. Stay there. Now drop your left hip down a little bit, baby girl. Left hip down a little bit. Yeah. Now the posture's great. Move your knees a little bit. Right, you stay there, Olga. It is absolutely perfect. Wrist, elbows, knees, ankles, all in one straight line. Do you feel the posture? Now your shoulders are straight and your hips are straight, Olga. And change. Let your arms go over your head. Let them float down and breathe. Sometimes, you know, if you take teachers that aren't correcting you, Olga, it's just going to work you into, if they're not that strong, you know, they're going to work you wrong. Okay, guys, everybody have a drink. Everybody have a drink. And by the way, guys, new people joined a little bit later. What you need to know that we have struck the most awesome deal. And now we can offer yoga $10 a month you get unlimited yoga, 10 bucks a month. We brought it into the real zone. Look forward, breathe. Straighten out your left leg, round over, and please pick up your right foot. Interlock your fingers and your thumb below the toes, big toe into the floor, Olga, big toe into the floor, and straighten the leg you're standing on. Contract your thigh muscles and straighten the leg you're standing on. Look forward towards yourself in the mirror. Now, if your left leg, only if it stays straight, if it bends or wobbles, Chuck, you're going to stay here. But if the leg stays really straight, then inhale breathing and maybe you kick your right heel forward towards the mirror, but you do not have to. Once you kick the heel forward towards the mirror, big toe into the floor, Olga, tug the toes back towards your face. And I think you've got to drop the heel a little bit so it's in line with your hip. To me, it looks high, there it goes. Now keep on kicking through that heel. If you have two straight arms, two straight legs, straight back, only then do you begin to bend the elbows down or you can stay here for five and four, for three and two. Yes, Olga, and change. Take a breath, let go and breathe other side. Straighten out your right leg round over and pick up your left foot. Please interlock your fingers and your thumb below the toes and straighten the leg you're standing on and straighten the leg you're standing on. As you look forward towards yourself in the mirror, if your right leg stays really straight and strong, then inhale breathing and very gently kick your right heel, left heel forward towards the mirror and pull your toes back hard towards your face. As you keep on kicking that heel forward, but you can stay with a bent knee, you can grab below the knee if that's um, it's too hard to, get to hold the foot. But if you're ready, begin to bend your elbows down to break the plane, the calf muscle. Once the elbows go below, then cast your eyes to the ground, get your chin into your throat and your forehead to your knee for three and two and done. Very beautiful, Olga. Take a breath and let go and breathe. Let go and breathe. Other side, straighten out your left leg, round over, pick up your right foot. Interlock your fingers and your thumb below the toes and straighten the leg you're standing on. Look forward towards yourself, straighten the leg you're standing on. Straighten your knee, straighten your knee, straighten your knee. 
If your left leg stays really straight, contract the thigh muscle a little bit more, you've got it centered. Inhale, breathing, kick the heel forward if you're feeling it. You may or may not be. Sometimes you just edge the heel forward, perfect centered. Toes back hard towards your feet, face the feet are perfect. If you're ready, this is gorgeous. Begin to bend your elbows down to break the plane of the calf muscle. Keep kicking through that heel, center. Keep kicking through that heel. Then you cast your eyes to the ground if you want it. Five, four, three, two, done. Gorgeous, center. Take a breath. Other side. Straighten out your right leg, round over, pick up your left foot. Interlock your fingers under your thumb, where below the toes, always grab below the toes. If you can't grab below the toes, you can grab below the knee. Straighten the right leg, and if you're feeling it, inhale, and boom, kick your left heel forward towards the mirror, and immediately pull your toes back as hard as you can towards your face. Yes, send it, and you keep on kicking, it's perfect, send it. If you're ready, begin to bend your elbows down to break the plane of the calf muscle. Once the elbows go below, then please get your chin to your throat, straighten your knee a little bit more, send it for five, four, three, two, done. That was perfect, sir. That was perfect. Take a breath. I love you, send it. Take a breath, take a breath. Feel the effects of the postures as they rush through your body. And you breathe. Okay, please bend your right elbow in at the waist. Your palm is actually facing the ceiling. Please let your hand go down and pick up on the inside of your right foot. And would you bring your knees together to touch? That's it, that's it, Chuck. Pick up on the inside. You've got it, Chuck. Very, very good. Inhale with energy. Your right left arm up really high and right far back behind your head. Now you inhale breathing and very, very gently, would you please begin just to kick your right leg directly back. Olga, this is beautiful. Go slow. Go slow. As you kick the leg back, keep lifting your upper body, lifting your upper body, gorgeous, Olga. Big toe into the floor. Now drop your left hip, right hip down a little bit, Olga. Drop your right hip down. It's riding up too high, my baby, yes. And you kick the leg back a little bit more. Keep the hip down, Olga, that's it. Now stay there, stay there. And start to kick the leg back a little bit more, everybody. As you're kicking the leg back a little bit more, you use your right arm to lift up that leg, stunning Eileen and Kim. Let the foot come up over the top of your head and kick for five and four, for three and two and done. Please take a breath. Take a breath. Hey, Leonard, take a breath. Left elbow in at the waist, palm facing up. That's it, Chuck. Let your hand go down and pick up the foot inside from the inside. Knees together to touch. Inhale with energy, your right arm up really high, right far back behind your head. Look forward. Now, inhale breathing and just kick your leg directly behind you. That's it, Olga. Keep lifting the body, lifting the leg, lifting the body. Now stay there, Olga, stay there and turn the left hip down. Turn the left hip down. It's riding up, Olga, it's riding up. So turn it down. Yeah, you're better to start a little bit more and kick. Now use your right arm as you lift the right arm up higher. Now you stay there, Olga. Keep just turning the right hip down, left hip down, left hip down. Five, kick up four, kick up three, two, down. Take a breath, let go. Left elbow in at the waist, palm facing up. Good to see you, Mark. Lovely scenery. Good to see you, gorgeous. Let your hand go down and pick up the foot from the inside. Please bring your knees together to touch. Inhale with energy. Your left arm up very high, right far back behind your head. Inhale, breathing, start to kick. That's it, Mark. Start to straighten out your left leg, just the left leg. The upper body's perfect. That's it, Mark. As you kick the leg back, the posture's gorgeous, man. Keep on lifting your left arm up, straightening the left knee, and you kick the leg back behind you. Now kick the leg towards the bushes behind you, Mark. Kick the leg towards the bushes. That's it. Now straighten the leg you're standing on, Mark. And last few seconds, drop the left shoulder on the chin. Now, Mark, you just got to kick and straighten your knee. Kick and straighten the knee. Straighten the knee. Straighten the knee. One more. Straighten, Mark and change. Excellent. 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 Left elbow into the waist. Real men do yoga. Let your hand go down and pick up the foot from the inside. 
bring your knees together to touch. And all the men that do yoga know real men do yoga because it's tough. Inhale with energy, your left arm up, so right arm up. Now inhale and kick up. That's it, Mark. Keep straightening your right knee. Keep pushing the right knee back, Mark. No, the right knee. Don't come down anymore. Push the right knee back. Just keep pushing it back. The upper body's perfect. Just keep pushing it back. You've got it, Mark. Now lift up that leg a little bit more. Lift up the leg a little bit more. Fabulous, man. Now start to bring the left shoulder, right shoulder under your chin. Touch your chin to the shoulder. And last five seconds, Mark. Straighten the knee five. Straighten the knee four. Yes, send it. Three, two, and done. Excellent, sir. Fabulous, my gorgeous. I love you. I love you. Take a breath. So beautiful. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Inhale your arms up over your head. You're perfect, Olga. Interlock your fingers, release your index, glue your wrists together. Maybe from the side, Olga, maybe from the side. Take a great big step with your right foot, point your left toe. Then inhale, breathe in and go, bring your body down. Stretch towards the mirror, point toes behind you. Yes, Ma. Bring the body down. Straighten your knee, lay a little bit more. Push the knee back. You've got it, Whitney. You can stay there. It's perfect. Reach towards the mirror. Gorgeous, Olga. Gorgeous, send it. Lovely, David. Stretch forward, stretch back and change. Chuck, that was outrageous. Well done. Well done. Take a great big step on your left foot, point your right toe. Then inhale, breathe it and go. Bring your upper body down. As you stretch towards the mirror, interlock your fingers above your head, Chuck, that's it. Body down, arms up, body down, leg up. Keep on reaching forward, keep on reaching back. Stretch forward, stretch back and change. Inhale as you come up. May I have Chuck? He's brand new, but he's doing great. Let your arms float down, August, my sweetie. And take a breath, okay. Inhale your arms up, you've got it, you're on. Take a great big step with your right foot, Chuck. Point your left toes. Do not look down. Inhale, breathing, now go. Bring your upper body down. Stand on your striped leg. Point the left toes behind you. Body down. Arms up. It's perfect, Chuck. Point the toes behind you. Body down a little bit more. Arms up. <laughs> Done. That was perfect, Chuck. Change. Perfect. So only 10 seconds. Now take a great big step on your left foot. Point your right toe. Inhale, breathing, and go. Bring your body down. But stretch your right leg behind you. Got it, Chuck. Your left leg is straight. Body down more. Arms up. Body down more, arms up. You did a great job, sir. Stretch towards the mirror, point the toes behind you, reach forward, reach back. You are done. Chuck, that was amazing. I never put somebody on first time they practice, but that was outstanding. Got to understand that. Excellent, sir. Okay, when you're ready. Now you've just done cardio, worked your heart. Let's rest your heart and feed your brain. You know, Chuck, when people get older, they don't know the name. Our postures change the way you age. This posture is going to feed your brain. Inhale your arms above your head so you don't get dementia when you're older. Take a great big four and a half a step to the right, arms down parallel immediately. Now would you turn your toes in, heels out, unless you have sciatica, and suck in your tummy and you go down. Lengthen forward as you go down. If you look at what the little alley you've got it, Chuck, then slide your hands down the back of your legs. If it's available to you, scoop up your heels. Now, you may not be able to get anywhere near your heels. If that's impossible, don't worry. Bend your knees and put your hands on the floor in front of you. And then maybe you can open your fingertips and grab the side of the feet, maybe. As you lift your hips up into the air, you drop the shoulders away from your ears and now bend your elbows. Wrap your elbows around the calf muscles a little bit more, Olga. Wrap the elbows a little bit. You're doing great. Okay, baby girl, that's enough. As you pull, the legs are awesome, baby girl. Chin away from the chest, pull one more breath and change. And inhale as you come up and feet together, arms down. Take a breath, let go and breathe. And remember, you're practicing. You are not performing. So if something's not working for you, even if you're off the screen, you just practice. Hey, my Leia, good to see you, my beautiful. And lay us all the way out there in Spain, as you know. Inhale your arms above your head. Take a great big four and a half foot step to the right. Arms are down parallel immediately. Can you turn your toes in with heels out, arms back, chin up, suck in your tummy, and you go down. And lay us one of the founder members of our practice, of our community. As you get the weight into the toes, you lift your hips up into the air, lovely lay and you drop the shoulders away from your ears. Get the weight forward. It's very beautiful, Olivia. And if it's available to you, that's it, Whitney. Now, Whitney, the legs are too wide right now. Your arms would never reach them. Yeah, bring them, that's it. And then you just stay there and hang out, Whitney. Perfect. 
As you pull, lift your hips up into the air. That's it, David. Pull, one more breath. Inhale, breathing. And come up the straight back, fabulous back layer. And feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go, and you breathe. I love you, Leah. Let's do Trikonasana, maybe from the side, Olga, because it's, it's easier for me. Go back a little bit. Do we do Trikonasana? What are we doing, Senna? Is it Trikonasana or second set? Thank you. Inhale your arms above your head. And then go take a great big four and a half at step to the right. Arms down parallel immediately. Push your hips forward, arms back, turn on the right heel. Turn the toe a half inch more. Turn the back foot in a 45 degree angle. Inhale breathing and sit down, sit down, sit down. Suck in your tummy, move your arms. The second your elbow touches the knee, you stop and you push the knee back with the help of the elbow. Look up towards your left hand. Straighten out your left leg. Dig your left baby toe into the floor. So what you're doing, that's it, Chuck. Bend your right knee. Now, Chuck, you can also put your elbow on the right knee. That's fine. Actually, it's good. Lift up your left arm towards the ceiling, Chuck, at 12 o'clock. Now turn your chin and look up towards that thumb. As you straighten out your left leg, dig your left baby toe into the floor. Reach up, reach down, change. Hips forward, arms back, turn on the other heel. Turn the toe a half inch more. Turn the back foot in a 45 degree angle. Inhale, breathing, sit down, sit down, sit down. Suck in your tummy and just move your arms. The second your elbow touches the knee, you stop and you push your knee back with the help of the elbow. Mark it, looks very, very good. Turn your chin, touch your chin to the shoulder. Really straighten out your right leg. Keep digging your right baby toes into the floor. As you push your left knee back, it's gorgeous, Chuck. Now turn your chin and look up toward your right thumb. And you turn your chin to touch you to your right shoulder. Straighten out your right leg, digging your right baby toe into the floor. Reach up, reach down and change. And feet together, arms down. And take a breath, let go. And please breathe. Let go. Please breathe. Inhale your arms above your head and go take a great big four and a half at steps to the right. Could we have Whitney, please? Arms down parallel immediately. Push your hips forward, arms back. There you go, Whitney. Turn on the right heel. Lovely garden, darling. Turn the back foot in a 45 degree angle. Inhale, breathing. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Then suck in your tummy. Inhale, breathing and move your arms. Second, your elbow touches knee. You stop there. It's perfect, Whitney. Now touch your chin to the shoulder. And as you can see, Chuck, the posture is perfect from the side. You're constantly pushing your right knee back and straightening out your left leg. Digging your left baby toes into the floor. Now turn your chin and touch your chin towards your left shoulder. Try to make it touch. As you look up towards your left thumb, change. Perfect, Whitney. Hips forward, arms back, turn on the other heel, turn the toe a half inch more, turn the back foot in, inhale, sit down, sit down, sit down. Suck in your tummy, boom, you move your arms. The second your elbow touches the knee, you stop. Turn your chin, look up, all the way towards your left hand, right hand. You're looking up towards your right thumb. In fact, you're using your ocular muscles. Keep lovely kid that colors. Straighten out your right leg, dig your right baby toe into the floor, push your left knee back with the help of the elbow, reach up, reach down and change. So beautiful, Whitney. Thank you. Feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go. I love you, darling. And I can see you're getting in the groove. You're getting in the groove. Okay, we've gone all the way through your body. Let's go into your skull. So please inhale your arms up over your head. Hands in prayer, cross your thumbs. Take a three foot step to the right and lift your toes. Then spin one, two, three, four, all the way around. Chin down, suck in your tummy and would you round over and get your forehead on the knee as you round over. Lift the middle of the spine up to the ceiling. Could I have Kim and Eileen please, just for a moment, as you round over, so Chuck can see from the side. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. You're lifting the middle of the spine up to the ceiling and you breathe, sucking your tummy, round your spine, inhale and come up. Okay, so we're going to stick with you, Olga, but Olga turned to the side because all we saw then was your butt. So turn to the side, turn again, turn again, turn again. That's it. Now chin down, sucking your tummy, round over. So now you can see Chuck how she's going. Bending the front knee so her forehead can touch it. Eyes are open, breath is normal. Your butt was very cute, Olga, but I couldn't see a thing. Get your left hip up and back, your right hip down and forward. You're sucking your tummy. You continue round your spine. Inhale, breathing. And please round up beautiful girl. Change. Lift your toes, bend to the mirror, feet together, arms down. Take a breath. 
and let go, allow the blood to drain. Good to see you, Olivia. Allow the blood to drain. Breathe. Inhale your arms above your head. Hands in prayer, cross your thumbs. Take a three foot step to the right. Lift your toes and spin. One, two, three, four. Such lovely legs, darling. Sucking your tummy around your back. And bend your front knee and get your forehead on your knee. This is so beautiful, Olivia. You can separate your fingers now, Chuck, and put your fingers either side of your ankles on the floor. But make sure your forehead's touching your right knee first. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. You're pushing your third eye into the knee and that activates your pineal gland, which is your spiritual gland. Your third eye will guide you home at the end of your life. Round up. And lift your toes, spin to the mirror. And lift your toes, spin again. A one, a two, a three, a four, chin down. Suck in your tummy and round your back. As you bend your front knee, round your back. That's it. And get your forehead to touch your knee. You can open your legs a little bit more, Chuck, because you're a huge bloke. Yeah. Hands either side of your ankles on the floor and drop your forehead onto your knee. Eyes are open. Breath is normal. You're sucking in your tummy. Inhale, breathe in. And please round up. Lift your toes, spin to the mirror. Feet together, arms down. Take a breath. That was exquisite, Olivia. You are such a beauty. I love you, darling. I really love you. And breathe. Okay, straighten out your left leg, pick up your right foot. Hold the foot with your left hand as high as you can. Doesn't matter how many times you drop the foot. Now and bring your right thumb level with your heart in Namaskar. Imagine if I asked you, if I said I've got a potion and if you take this potion three to four times a week or more, it will change the way you age. You would take that potion. This is the potion. This is the potion. You take this class regularly and you slow down the aging process because we clean out your pipes. We adjust every part of the body, fill and squeeze toxins out. Please change. Straighten out your right leg and pick up the left. Normal fitness doesn't do this. This is a very ancient practice. Four and a half to 5,000 years old, Chuck. Bring your thumb level with your heart in Namaskar and you breathe. This practice works on your balance, but it works on your bloodstream. We fill your blood with fresh oxygenated blood and then we pump it all around your body. So every single gland, organ, muscle, tendon is energized. Your brain, all of your thyroid, parathyroid glands, everything energized. Please change. There is nothing like it on the planet. Straighten out your left leg. Pick up your right foot. Allow the foot to slip on your thigh. Bend forward. Get your hands out. Ready to catch yourself on the floor. This is beautiful, Eileen and Kim. You're both coming down in the advanced way. Amazing. And you breathe. And I know they're your buddies, Chuck. Just get your hands on the floor to start with. And you can bend forward. Even if you don't get the posture, doesn't matter. Bend forward. Lift up your left hand. Always the left first, the moon, which represents good women. And then right and breathe, which represents men. And when they're together, LGBT community. And you breathe. Yes, I mean. And change. Gorgeous. And now you straighten out the other leg and pick up the left. Foot can slip. And you bend over, get your hands out there to catch yourselves on the floor. Gorgeous, Kim. Gorgeous, I mean. Excellent girls. And you lift up your left hand from level of your heart to Namaskar. And then you write and you breathe. And it doesn't matter who teaches you, you get the benefits. You breathe, you lengthen and change. Gorgeous girls, beautiful. Honor your gorgeous selves in the mirror and then turn around, lie down and let go. So I'm going to look now through the room. So Chuck, you hear Mark, you're, you're, so, you're so funny. So Chuck, let me find, um, I've got to please, I'm just going on here for a moment, everybody. So Chuck, would you put, yes. And would you put it diagonal, Chuck? Go the other way, go the other way. No, not the camera, your mat. The camera's perfect. You lay your mat long ways, yes, perfect. And I'm even more straight, more straight. 
There you go. And now I can see all of you child. Now pull it back towards the back of your space. Pull it back a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. You boom. You are now perfect. So now you can lie down, let go. Yes, man. Great to have you in the house. Henry, good job. Okay, my beautifuls. You're upside down, Jamelia. Lie down. Let go. And melt into the ground. I love you, Ma. Lie down, let go. Come on, Jamelia. Let go. Breathe. Melt into the ground. And breathe. I will tell you every time you come, because the more you hear things, the more they go into your psyche, which is why you have to be careful of that box in your house called a TV, because it is propaganda, you know? So the more you hear things, the more it goes into your psyche. So I will tell you this every time you come, you are a being that is made of pure light. And you live in this body, which is made of stardust. And you are built in the image of the divine being. And you are profoundly loved. And it doesn't matter your skin color. It does not matter your eye shape. It does not matter your religion. And it does not matter your sexuality. We are all built in the image of the divine and we are profoundly loved. We are different versions of the divine being having a human experience on this planet. So you are not just a drop of the divine. You are the whole of the divine encompassed in one tiny, minuscule, minute drop of perfection. You understand, I tell you, perfection because love is perfect. And light, which I told you you are made of, is a physical manifestation of pure love. So you understand in your essence, what you are actually is pure love. Now I know in this, so let's now go to this world. In this world, you are taught you're born in sin. You feel me? You are not born in sin. You are born in absolute love. There is a jet, an agenda around that wants humanity not to love their own being. Now you know that you can love your lover. You can love your mother, you can love your father, you can love children. You can love your cats, your dogs, horses, camels. You can love everything. For me, my favorites are elephants and chimpanzees and monkeys. You can love everything at the drop of a hat. But as soon as I say love you, it's like, how do I love myself? And this is everybody. People think I can't love myself. That's how deep the programming is. So you have to work on your own being, go within. What comes from outside is not your world. It is the world of your body but you go within and learn to love this being that you are. One of the impediments I found against me of learning to love my own being was I couldn't forgive myself. They were things I'd done in my past and I was not willing to forgive myself at all. And honestly, sometimes, we hold ourselves in a prison of not forgiving ourselves forever. 
And to be honest, if we were in prison, they'd have let us out already. We'd have done our time. But when it comes to ourselves, we are very, very hard. Learn to love yourself. Sometimes the things you have done in your past that you are trying or learning to forgive yourself for, you didn't know in those times that you had another option. We are all born with a base matter and we run around this world thinking we're just made of blood and bone and skin. That's what we're taught. And we do things like that in this world of matter. But as you grow and as you go deeper into your inner world, you begin to touch what you really are. You are gods and goddesses within. Do you understand? I know we are taught to love a God outside ourselves. I know, and that's not a problem. You can love your gods as much as suits you. But before that, love you. Learn to love this being that you are. Because this will begin to wake you up. Nobody else can wake you up. Our yoga is about your self-awakening and the awakening of yourself, your self-realization that you are divine. Do you understand, guys? As you lay there on your mat, on your space, listening to me, your ears are not listening. Your ears are an instrument to allow you to listen to the exterior world. You, you are the awareness that is listening. Do you feel me? Your body is yours, but it is not you. You are awareness. Sense your awareness right now. As you feel the weight of your body, knowing this is what you live in, sense your awareness. And now this awareness, turn to your own heart, turn your attention to you and repeat to yourself, I love you, Chuck. I love you, Kim. I love you, Eileen. I love you, Senate. I love you, Olivia. I love you, Lindsay. You feel me? Put your own mask, gas mask on first right now. It's a funny thing to say before you help the others. That was what happened when you were in a plane. It was going down. You put the oxygen mask on first. And breathe. Understand you are divine. When you're ready, pick up your right leg. Interlock your fingers under your thumb and pull your knee away from the rib cage and then on in towards your armpit. And the back of your neck is super long on the floor and the chin is down. You're looking down on the center line of your body. We're working into your colon, your digestive system. As you pull and you hold and you breathe and you freeze right there. Please change. Now you pick up the other leg because now we're going into the left-hand side of your colon. You interlock your fingers under your thumb. You're doing so good, Chuck. And the back of your neck is long. There you go, my Henry. And you pull and you hold. Get your right shoulder down, Ma. Get your right shoulder down, my darling. As you pull, one more breath. Please change. Now both of your legs, pick them up. Swing your arms around them. Grab your elbows. Pull your knees into your tummy. And please get the back of your neck super long on the floor. Chin down. Yes, Lindsay. Yes, Stacy. Pull, hold. Yes, my mark. And change. Let your legs go to the floor. You just work the ascending, transverse, and descending colon. Breathe. And we have my beautiful Stacy. Pick up your right leg. Interlock your fingers and your thumb on top of and below the knee and pull the knee away from the rib cage and in towards your armpit. Please get the back of your neck super long on the floor and the chin is down, Paul. Hold, breathe, 
freeze right there and change. Pick up the other leg. When, you, when your thigh lies against your belly, it helps your colon as you squeeze it, it activates the peristaltis movement. It keeps it very strong in your colon. And that's a sausage making movement. So when your colon's healthy, it enables the sausage making movement and change, which eliminates waste from your body. Pick up both of your legs. Yes, beautiful, Stacy. Holding your elbows, if it's available to you, the back of your neck is long. You're looking down the center line of your body, a little diamond of light between your forearms and your knees and you pull and change. Very beautiful, guys. Okay, so we're going to do a sit up. If anybody's dealing with rear back neck issues, roll to the side, but everybody else, arms over your head, toes back hard, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale. Spin around and lay in your bellies. Hands, palms underneath your shoulders. Tip of the fingers, level the top of your shoulders and zip your legs up. Push your feet down hard into the floor. Now inhale breathing and peel your upper body up. As you look up and lift up lovely Olga all the way to your navel, your feet are pushed hard into the floor. As you lift up a little bit more, bend your elbows, Chuck, and drop your head back. Bend your elbows so your navel comes onto the floor if you can, Chuck. Yes, and change. Let go and breathe. Melt into the floor. Let go and breathe. Let go. Maybe I'll have Wayne next, if I may. Melt. Second set, hands, palms down on the ground. So Chuck, would you look at Wayne? Fingertips back a little bit more, Wayne. Fingertips back, and not your body, just the fingers, yeah. Now zip up your legs. You do not have legs, you just have one cobra's tail. Inhale, breathing, and peel your upper body up. If you are this side, Olga, it helps me more. As you lift up, come up. Now bend your elbows, Wayne. Bend your elbows a little bit more. Bend them. Yeah. Now drop your head back. And you lift up and you go up and you pull up. And you lift up, go up, breathe up. That's it, Chuck. And come down. Excellent, sir. Put your left ear on the floor. Look to the right or the other. And you breathe and you breathe and you breathe and you breathe. Okay, I need to know where I am. Where's Olga? What am I doing next, Olga? Can I have Olga for a moment? What am I doing next? Second set, first set, one set, two sets. Where am I? Second set. Okay. Turn your hands, palms down the ground, chin forward. Elbows underneath your body. Olga, I'm not sure you've got the right posture. I'm going to ask somebody else. Um, did we, do, thank you. Hands, palms underneath your body. Is it, which one is it, Senate? Hands, palms underneath your shoulders. I need Senate. One set. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Hands, palms underneath your shoulders. Zip your legs up. Inhale, breathing. And lift your upper body up. And lift up, come up, go up. Shoulders away from your ears as you come up. Lift up, go up, breathe up. More up, way up. One more lift. Come down. Put your left ear on the floor. Look to the right. Let go and breathe. I'm sorry about that, guys. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe, let go, and breathe, let go. Okay, arms out to the side. May I have Mark and Lily just now? Arms out to the side, toes and heels together. Zip up your legs. Inhale, breathing. Oh no, turn your hands, palms down the floor. Thank you, ladies. What are my ass doing? Elbows underneath your body, baby fingers touching side by side. Your chin is forward. Forget about your left leg. Lengthen out your right leg. Inhale, breathe and go. Lift your right leg up and point the toe. Turn the right hip down into your forearm. Hold the leg so long. Hold the leg so straight. As you hold and you breathe and you stay right there, please change. Forget that leg. Lengthen the left. Inhale and go and lift your left leg up and point the toe. Turn the left hip down into your forearm. Hold the leg so long, hold the leg so straight and change. Okay, face down, kiss the towel, round your shoulders, walk your fingertips down towards your knees and zip up your legs. Now inhale, breathe in and go. Both legs up on the floor into the air, push your face down, push your shoulders down into the floor and lift your legs up, go up, lift up, go up, breathe up, one more leg, come down. Stay here with me, Adrian, stay here. Put your left ear on the floor, look to the right and let go and please breathe. Let go and breathe. 
Chin forward, flip your hands, palms down on the ground, get your elbows underneath your body so your baby fingers are side by side. Now completely forget the left leg, lengthen your right leg, inhale and go. Right leg up, point the toe, turn the right hip down into your forearms, hold the leg really long, you hold the leg really straight, you point the toe, lovely Whitney, it's gorgeous, chin forward a little bit more Chuck, chin forward and change, excellent Chuck. Now forget that leg, lengthen the left, inhale and go and lift the left leg up and point the toe. Turn the left hip down into your forearm. Hold the leg so long, hold the leg so straight, you breathe and change. Now face down, kiss the towel. Walk your fingertips down towards your knees and zip your legs up. Inhale, breathe in and go. Both legs up on the floor into the air. Push your face down, push your shoulders down into the floor. As you lift your legs up, go up, breathe up, lift up, go up. One more lift and please come down. Beautiful. May I have Mark, please? And then we go back to Lily and Mark. And breathe and let go. And let go. Okay, second set, chin forward. Inhale, breathe in, thank you, and go. Everything out of the floor into the air, thank you, send it. And lift your arms up over the top of your head and you look up, go up, lift up, more up, way up, lift up, go up, breathe up, keep on lifting, one more, lift. Come down, let go, breathe. Let go, breathe. Let go, breathe. Chin forward, bend your legs behind you. Reach around, inhale, breathe in and go. Lift everything up to the floor into the air. Arms up low the top of your head, thank you girls. And look up and you lift up and you go up, breathe up, way up, lift up, go up. Yes, send it, go up, lift up, go up, breathe up. One more, lift, come down. Right on the floor, let go, breathe. Let go, breathe. Thank you girls, let go, breathe. Chin forward. Bend your legs behind you. Grab your feet where? Just below the toes. Look forward, zip up your legs. Now inhale, breathe in. And just begin to kick the legs directly behind you. Fabulous, Lily. Bring your knees tightly closer, Lily, yeah. Now kick your shoulders out of the shoulder sockets. As you look up and you kick up, keep on kicking. Roll onto your belly a little bit more, girls. And you keep on kicking one more kick. And come down. Excellent, girls. Yes. Your head's helping me. Let go. Let go. Let go. Last one. Chin forward. Bend your legs behind you. Reach around, grab your feet where below the toes. Inhale, breathe in and go. You kick your legs back behind you, rolling onto your belly, it's lovely, ma. And you kick up just that little bit more. You kick your shoulders almost out of the shoulder sockets. Yes, Whitney, and you kick up. You've got it, Henry. That's it, roll onto your belly a little bit more, Chuck. The posture is gorgeous. And now you keep on kicking, it's fabulous, Tara. One more kick, come down. Beautiful, Olivia, thank you, girls. Left you on the floor, look to the right. Let go, let go, let go of everything. Let go of everything. Okay, guys, come up. Come to the front of your towel. Open your toes, open your feet. And please get your butt on the floor in between your feet. And let me just see how Chuck's doing that. Open your feet wide, Chuck. Feet wide. Yeah, oh, perfect. Now bring your feet closer to your hips, Chuck. So there is no space. Yes, perfect. Put your hands on the top of your feet and go back easy. Then lift your chest up as you go back easy. If your knees feel tight as you go back, open them. If they feel perfectly fine and they're apart, maybe you bring them together. But you lift your chest up, you hold your elbows over the top of your head when you're available to you. It's very good, Mark. Beautiful, Lily. And change as you come up. And turn around easy. And lie down easy and let go and breathe. Melt into the floor. May I have Tara, please, Adrian? And just let go and just let go and melt. Let go. Let go. 
arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale. Spin around. Open your toes, open your feet. Get your butt on the floor in between. It's our beautiful Tara. Hands on the top of your feet and then you go back easy. You look an amazing Tara. The width in your shoulders, tiny back, tiny waist, baby girl. As you lift your chest up, hold your elbows over the top of your head. Your eyes are wide open, it's gorgeous, send it. The breath is normal. You're squeezing your knees together, it's available to you. Yes, Eileen, you're breathing very, very good um, for you, Henry. This is fabulous, Chuck. Gorgeous, Whitney, inhale and come up. Yes, Jamelia, and turn around. Thank you, my Tara and lie down and let go and breathe. Let go and breathe. Let go and breathe. Back to Mar and Lily, please. Just so I need to know where I am all the time. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up, <laughs> exhale, exhale and spin around. Come and stand and knee, sit on your knees and heels at the back of your towel. Knees touch, your heels touch. Inhale your arms above your head, get your hands in prayer and suck in your tummies and please come down with the most perfectly straight spine. Chin is away from the chest as you lengthen forward. Eyes are open, breath is normal as you lengthen forward. Try to get your forehead on the ground. Now here's the deal. Sometimes if your forehead goes on the ground, your butt lifts up. That's okay. Chuck, you're doing perfectly. You've got your hair forehead down and your butts down, it's amazing. I don't know if it's going to help you, Whitney, but you shouldn't be on your toes. So if you can flap them out and put the weight in your hands if it works into your back, if it doesn't work, Whitney, do what helps you and change. Come up and change. So remember, if it doesn't work for you, Whitney, it's okay. You carry on doing what you need. Turn around, lie down, let go and breathe. So you have some company, Mark, yay as they water the flowers. <laughs> Home yoga is hysterical. Let go. You are profoundly loved by the divine being. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale, and we have David. Come to the back of your towel and sit on your knees and sit on your heels. Inhale your arms up over your head. Get your hands in prayer. Suck in your tummy. Please come down with the straightest spine you can muster. Yes, David, lengthening forward, lengthening forward. Trying to get your forehead to touch the floor a second before your arms. Lift your wrists up off the floor to straighten out your elbows. It's gorgeous, David, and you breathe. Now, if the first time your bottom, your forehead was on the floor, but your butt wasn't down. Maybe this time, just put your butt down. Your head can lift up slightly. Send it, it's gorgeous. As you lengthen forward, it's fabulous, Tara. Squeeze your knees together. Pull your tummy muscles in. Inhale, breathing, and come up. Come up the straightest back you can. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, David. Turn around. Lie down. Let go. Just let it all go as you breathe. This posture we do more than any. Shavasana means corpse. It means a dead body. You breathe. Life, death, immortality, mortality. Your body will die one day and stay on the planet. But you are made of finer stuff. You are made of divine energy. And you will go back to where you came from. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. <coughs> exhale, exhale. So turn around, come and stand on your knees. Open your knees six inches. Heels six inches. Put your hands on the top of your bottom. Lily, would you turn the other way so I can see you from the side? Tighten your bum. That's it, Lily. You stay there, Ma. Hips, tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up. So this is how it looks for anybody. Chuck, if you don't know, lift your chest up. Now drop your head back. 
Roll forward, roll forward, roll forward. Hips, tummy, thighs towards the mirror. That's it, Chuck, you're doing well. Roll forward, roll forward. Trying to push your hips over your knees. Trying to push your hips over your knees. Yes, Whitney, as you lift your chest up. Now, if it's available to you, maybe grab your heels. Reach down. If you reach down, they're not there. You put your hands back to your hips. Put your hands back to your hips, Chuck. Yeah. Now roll forward. You've got it, Olivia. Roll forward, roll forward. Yes, Wayne. And change. Gorgeous, girls. Put your hands back to your hips. Turn around. Lie down. Let go and just completely dissolve. You get 100% benefits no matter what stage you are in the posture. So even if you don't grab your heels today, it doesn't matter. The fact you're on your knees at this point in class with your hands on your back, you get 100% of the benefits. And what are the benefits? They work on negative emotions. They release the le negative emotions that you may have stored sometimes from childhood in your body. Our bodies release during this yoga, trauma and stress from our past. Because trauma and stress causes the body to morph into a different shape, tighten of the back, the hamstrings, the knees, the arms, the shoulders. It's all because of thoughts and trauma and we open all that up and the trauma is just released. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, and turn around. And here's Jamelia all the way out there in Guatemala. Hello, beautiful. Put your hand, oh, one of those tops again that I got stitched sweating. Put your hands on the top of your bottom. Hips, tummy, thighs forward towards the mirror. Lift your chest up and drop your head back. Hips, tummy, thighs forward towards the mirror. There you go, my Jamelia. And you roll forward, you roll forward. Keep tightening your bum, pushing your hips forward. Beautiful kid that colors and roll forward. Last few seconds, we're on the home straight. You tighten your bum, you push hips more forward. Yes, Olivia, hips more forward. Gorgeous, Stacy. hips more forward. Fabulous, Chuck, hips more forward. Yes, Henry, please change. Stunning, Eileen. And just lay down. And melt into the floor. And let go of everything. Stay still. Are you a God? They asked. The answer was no. Are you a saint? The answer was no. Are you an angel? The answer was no. What are you then? And the Buddha answered, I am awake. And that difference of him waking up made everybody else think he was a god or an angel or a saint. And all he did was wake up as a human being. And that's what our yoga is about, your self-awakening and your self-realization. As a human being, you can reach divinity by waking up from the sleep that is on this earth. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Spin around. Grab the towel. No, actually don't grab the towel. Just grab your heels. All your fingers over the heels, thumb on the outside. Would you turn to the side, Lily? Would you turn to the side? Because we have a new person. You may not know how to grab. That's it. So grab your heels just from the side. There you go. Chin down into your throat, suck in your tummy, and now begin to roll over. As you lift your hips up into the air, begin to roll over. That's exactly it, Whitney. Roll over and take it easy. Oh, you're so good, Chuck. Kim Eileen is amazing. He's done everything and really well. Now lift your hips up, Chuck. Go onto your crown, crown chakra, lift your hips up, shuffle your knees forward towards your forehead. Your crown is on the ground. Your crown is on the ground. One day, maybe not today, Chuck, the knees will touch your forehead. Please change. That's it, Whitney. Easy peasy. That's it, Henry. Easy peasy. Turn around. Lie down. Let go. Breathe. And we are going to enrich, you know, our timetable. So there are more and more and more classes. So there comes a time that anytime you want to, for your 10 bucks a month, 
you can do as many classes as you want in a day. Arms over your head, toes back, inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Spin around, grab your heels, there's my Lindsay. You did awesome yesterday, awesome on Friday, on Wednesday. I love you, darling. Chin down, watch the little bun on your head, suck in your tummy and begin to roll over. Now you roll over, Chuck, and put your forehead towards your knee to start. Yes. Now go onto your crown by lifting your hips up, onto your head, yes. Now the forehead comes away from the knees, you'll notice that, you shuffle the knees forward. If it's available to you, roll over. I never usually correct somebody this new chart, but you're amazing. Roll over, straighten out your elbows. Yes, Tara. Roll over, gorgeous, my layer. Lift your hips up. Yes, Lindsay. Roll one more breath. Stunning, Kim. Turn around, lie down, let go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And you are down. And you let go. And you melt. And you breathe, and you breathe, let go. Our yoga wakes you up, it is a practice. It is a practice. I'm not a religious person, but obviously living in England, I had heard about Jesus and his mom at Christmas and all this, she's a virgin and his dad was God. And what that gave me a little girl in Manchester was, well, that's impossible. That's impossible. And in that moment, I may have lost any sense that I may have become a divine being. So it's quite cruel in a way to talk about impossible things to human beings that are really wanting to awaken. And you breathe. This practice, I definitely woke up in Samadhi, in La Cienega, in my teacher training in 2002. Wide awake after my 66th class in a row when I thought I might have died. That's what we're offering here. Eternal life, no stories. Truth, practice, reality, no impossible tales. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale and spin around. Kick your right leg out to the right corner of the room and get your left leg into your groin. Then inhale up and turn. My girls in Brazil, Lily and Ma, face the outstretched leg and grab the foot and pull your toes towards your face and kick your heel away. And I thank everybody that was on um, showing the postures for everybody. I thank you deeply. I can't do it without you. Bend your elbows down to the ground and if your leg is straight, you pull your toes back hard and you lift your heel up off the floor at the end, Ma, if you can. Yes, girls, and change. Both of you did it, both of you, excellent girls. Now, left leg out, right leg in, inhale up and turn and face your outstretched leg, round over, get a grip. Tug your toes towards your face as you get a grip. Slide your heel away. It's very important you pull your toes back. You know Achilles, when he was born, was dipped into the lake of immortality, but the angel held his heel, so that's where he wasn't immortal. Bend your elbows down to the ground and lift your heels up at the end. Yes, Ma, yes, Lily, and change. Now, feet together, lie down. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. And grab your big toe, your first and second finger. Do the walk back business on your bum. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Lengthen your back, shoulders down. Suck in your tummy, hinge forward. Hinging means you come down with a straight back. It means even if your knees are bent, you can hinge towards your thighs. Yes, ma, pull forward, it's so beautiful, Lily. Bring your body down more, girls. Bring your body down more. Lengthen towards my voice. Lengthen towards my voice. Pull one more breath. Please change. Stunning, darlings. Lie down. Let go. Breathe. We're all over LA. We're in Guatemala. We're in Brazil. My layer all the way out there in Spain. 
breathe, let go. Ohio, we're out there too with our beautiful Lindsay, breathe, let go. Arms over your head, flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. And spin around. Right leg out to the right and corner of the room and your left leg is right into your groin. And you inhale up as high as you can and you turn and you face the outstretched leg and please round over and get a grip of the foot. You can bend your knee as much as you need to to grab the foot. Get your elbows down to the ground. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. Keep on tugging in the foot. And if your leg happens to be straight, lift your heel up off the floor at the end and change. Very good effort, Henry. Now get your left leg out and right leg in. You don't have to, you can get both legs out, Henry, that's it. Now go to the right, left leg, round over, get a grip of the foot, tug the toes toward your face, push the back of the knees down into the ground and you breathe and you breathe. Eyes are open, breath is normal and you breathe. And if your leg happens to be straight, lift your heel up off the floor. Yes, I mean. Okay. Now feet together, please lie down. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. Grab your big toe with your first and your second finger and do the walk back business. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Now straighten your back, find the back. So to me, when I would straighten my back, I push my chest forward and up. That's it, Ali. That's it, Kim. Your back's perfect now. You don't have to have straight legs, but you have to have a straight back. So even if you've got bent knees and you're laying your belly against your bent thighs, but your back is straight, you're in the game. And then you slide your heels away. Then you slide your heels away. And if your legs happen to be straight, then you lift up your heels at the end and change. Yes. And turn around and lie down and let go and breathe, let go and breathe, let go and breathe. We have you centered for our final spinal. So arms over your head and flex your toes back, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, and spin around. And here we have Senna on the founders of this ancient yoga journey, Mr. Checkpoint, Mr. Rock and Roll, Mr. Everything for me. Bend your left leg underneath you. Do not sit on your left heel. Pick up your right foot and cross it over the corner of your left knee joint. So you can see Chuck, his left foot is underneath, foot by the heel. Now lift your left arm up over the knee, push the knee out of the way, then grab the leg that's on the ground. Yeah, the knee. Now lengthen your perfect at the Senate and begin to twist. Turn your chin, try to touch your chin to the shoulder. That's it Chuck, you have it and you twist. Yes, Whitney. And you twist, it's gorgeous, Stacey, you keep on twisting. Shoulders away from the ears, it's beautiful, Olga. And you keep on twisting. You twist one more breath. Please change. Now bend your right leg underneath you. Do not sit on your right heel, pick up your left leg. Cross it over the corner, right knee joint, lift up your right arm, over the knee. Push the knee out of the way, grab the lower knee, lengthen your spine. And now begin to twist. Drop the shoulders away from your ears and begin to twist. First to twist the middle, then the upper, then the lower, you keep on twisting. Twist, one more breath and change. That was really good, Senate. Turn around, you lie down, you let go and you breathe. You let go and you breathe. Melt into the floor. And breathe. You've done an amazing class. Every part of your body is now throbbing with fresh, oxygenated, alkaline blood. Remember, this practice is four and a half to five thousand years old. They had a very, very different expectation of what fitness is. If you know athletes, footballers, everybody, they die young because their heart has been trashed by the sports. But if you think of India, think of old men. Do you know how many old men wander around India? Because yoga is in their DNA now. Yoga, 
will help you live a longer life. Yeah, you may get hit by a bus, but that's a different story. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale, spin around. So sit on your knees and heels. Knees touch and heels touch. The first set, Adrian, I'm going to do Ma and Lily. The second set, we can go back to Olga as you lengthen your spine. So what you're going to do is snap your tummy in every time you blow out. So lengthen your spine, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, breathing. And let go for it. Snap your tummies in. Keep on blowing. Your spine is straight. And shoulders are down. You're working your diaphragm. Keeps your heart and lungs in the same position in your body. For five. Done. Swallow a couple of times. Moisten your mouth. There's my beautiful Olga. Lengthen your back. You're going to go as fast as you can. Inhale, breathing. And let go for it. Snap your tummies in. You can see Olga's belly going in hard and fast. Go as fast as you can. You're blowing. You're blowing. You're pushing the air out. You're blowing. You're blowing. You're emptying your lungs of the toxins of CO2. You're blowing. You're blowing. You're blowing. You're blowing. You're, blowing. You're done. Yes. Thank you, Olga. Gorgeous baby girl. Turn around. Lie down. Let go and melt. Chuck, you did an outrageous job. Outrageous. First class with me. Outrageous, sir. Stunning. And now you let everything go. Thank you for your exquisite practice. And remember, you are a divine being having a human experience. I mean, I know we are taught that we are bodies and we have a soul, but that's really back to front. We are souls. And right now, all of us together are having a human experience. You are a divine energy not just a drop of the divine but the whole of the divine in a drop so what is not to love learn to love yourself and in the words of my favorite mystic mr bob marley may you rest in peace man one heart one love and we are only the one race the human race jar rastafari namaste i love you my beloveds